In this video, I will be doing a formal analysis on the painting, The Circus, by Zora Seraph. This painting was the last painting ever made by Zora Seraph before his death. The Circus is an oil canvas painting made in 1890 through 1891. It remained an unfinished painting. In this painting, Zora Seraph was trying to capture the emotions from one scene of a circus act and would be the first painting to capture popular entertainment on a canvas. The painting depicts uh, circus performers on the stage performing with one performer balancing on a white horse, another doing acrobatics, and other performers on sidelines with an audience watching from the booths. One element of design used in this painting to support the meaning of the painting was the element of design of color. By choosing to use a certain choice of yellows for his color palette, George Seurat gave his painting a bright luminous feel that expresses the feelings of cheerfulness to the viewers. In using the element sided color, George Seurat also stuck with using three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, in his color palette to offer a sense of unity throughout the painting. One principle of design used in the painting is a principle of directional forces, which is used to create the motions of the performers while they are performing. This is achieved by creating implied lines that guide the viewer's eyes into the movement of the performers. Another element of design was used was implied texture on the flooring, curtains, and seats in the booths where the audience is watching from. The element of design of shape is also used where Sorcera used organic shapes to be able to create the shapes forming all of the circus performers and all of the members in the audience. Geometric shapes were also used to form the railing between the booth and the circus stage and also was used to to form the shape of the booth and seats. The principle of design, scale, and proportion was also used in painting to cause the clown in the front to appear much closer than the audience in the background.